What is happening guys, it's Goody here and welcome back to Goody27 Mods Month. In today's video we're going to be doing the Ascension Easter Egg. It's really, really interesting, it's short and it's kind of like the first quest Easter Egg that ever hit zombies. It's, it holds a special place in my heart. It's uh, it's really, really neat and um, it also helps you uh, kind of get an idea of what was going on inside the Ascension facility. So like I said, it's really, really short and the first thing you want to do is just get the power on. Also if you want to launch the rocket, just get to a stage where you feel as though you've opened all of the maps because that's going to be uh, much helpful um, in the later stages. But the first real step is to go to the box and go and get yourself a Gersh device. That's like the teleporting special grenade. And once you've got one of those, you want to head over to kind of a PhD area, throw it outside the map as uh, you're seeing here, and you want to hit that generator. And one that, what's that going to do is it's going to uh, suck the generator inside the Gersh device and go and spawn it all the way over to Stamina Up. And what you want to do then is you want to kind of go over to Stamina Up and see where this uh, computer terminal is and you want to hit it with X and that will turn into a Luminati sign and that is the first node done. You're trying to get four nodes done and you're trying to like kind of help Yori out from Samantha's grasp. The second step of this easter egg is to go to uh, the perk machines PhD, Speed, Juggernog and Stamina Up uh, while it's a monkey round and what will happen is four buttons will come out of the wall. They're really really easy to see, they look like this and they'll, uh, like I said, they'll, they'll be around the locations of those four perk machines are really really easy to spot, just look around and um this is why it's a four player easter egg because all each of you need to press the buttons at the same time during a monkey round and once they've all been pressed at the same time they will go in and that is node two done. The third node is really really easy as well basically once uh, the monkey round's over or whenever you want to head over to the pack a punch area and you will want to stand on uh, this bit underneath where the rocket launched. There will be a clock on the wall which has a like a ballistic knife hands and it will go anti-clockwise and you want to kind of stand there for like a minute or two minutes you want to leave your crawler literally where like stamina up is so it takes the longest possible time to go over to you because when you're on here you cannot move from this spot until it's done if you move it will all reset so you want the crawler as far away as possible it'll take about a minute or two minutes and once that's done you'll know when it's done because there will be a nuke it will uh, you know kaboom and it'll end the round and that is node free done the fourth and final node is really really interesting and you have to spell Luna in the sky you have to use the lunar landers and spell Spell the word Luna. Now it's really, really simple. This guide will work 100% at the time. You want to um, basically go from spawn to stamina up, and that will collect the letter L. There will also be a diagram on your screen. You want to then go from stamina up back to spawn, and then you'll collect the U. You want to go from spawn to speed cola, which is uh, the N, and then you go want to go from speed cola back to stamina up, which will collect the A, and that is how you spell Luna. You can also spell stuff like hit Sam, and you can spell other things but that is like the shortest one and that is the one you want to do for this easter egg Luna and then full power will be achieved and then you're on to the final step already and that is to um, unleash, let go, uh, set Yori free and you'll need a lot of weapons for this, you need a lot of firepower it tells you to collect and um, kind of give it a lot of firepower so I recommend thunder gun, ray gun, crossbow all upgraded just to be safe as well as the matryoshka dolls and the Gersh device and what you want to do to initiate this, you want to throw a Gersh device down where this light is on the floor and then once the Gersh device is powered up and doing, you want to spam all of your weapons into this section. You want to get as much power as you can. I really recommend like speed cola so you can reload quicker so you can, you know, let into it more. A double tap would have been so useful but alas, it's not in this map and uh, yeah, you'll know exactly when you do it because uh, the light will start flying up to the sky. Yuru will say, you've done it, you've set me free and there we go, you will get a 90 second death machine for completing this easter egg and there's your reward it's, there's no achievement this is kind of like the first quest easter egg but this is uh this is pre uh Treyarch putting achievements in for these easter eggs but there we go that is um that is the easter egg done now you know we, we don't really know what you do uh, after this easter egg you get a 90 second death machine but for what do you want to go spam those sparky plugs you want to go to the double tap doors fly around the map with the lunar lander and spam it go to the teddy bears there's a lot of stuff you can do but it hasn't been solved. Ascension, I swear there is something else to this map. And loads of other people have made like custom Easter eggs for the PC, like PC maps. They're very, really interesting. But alas, there's just nothing we have found yet. And the map has been out for four years, which is, it's incredible to think that. And it, it, if there is something else, it's amazing how it's, it's still undiscovered. But there we go, guys. That is the full Ascension Easter egg. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Watch out for more videos during Goody27 Mods Month. Other than that, it has been Goody. And goodbye.